Excellencies, honorable guests, ambassadors for peace, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to welcome you to our conference today. Acknowledge all our partner organizations. I am the president of the Universal Peace Federation. Dr. Platzer is here from ACOMS. The president, Mrs. Arnest Bauer, is here from the Women's Federation for World Peace. And Magister Narada is here from the... We start our meeting with a special blessing. It will be given by Elder Ruben Silverberg. So, I think it's timely that he gives us some insight about the, the lines of civilization, how it started and how it developed, because it's a timely project which I think has its own dynamics, Dr. Well, thank you very much. Zapatero, Prime Minister Zapatero, then invited the Turkish Prime Minister, Tayyip Erdogan, to jointly create the alliance. And it is interesting to see when we talk about the alliance, and we've just heard of the vision of creating an interreligious platform in the United Nations system. It is interesting to know how our institutions create well, In recent years, we have seen, like this particular program, a surge of non-violent mass action that contributed to the fall of communism. We have also such courageous non-violent action at the beginning of the Arab Spring. And then, violent fanatics gained the upper hand in some of these peoples. When I moved to England to study, I helped to organize interfaith meetings in different cities in the Indians. We looked at the common features of our different beliefs. It was reassuring to find out that every religion teaches peace and harmony within its own community. We arranged training events and consultations for voluntary and statutory bodies and organizations. Schools were encouraged to have interfaith discussions and joint religious festivals. My name is Dr. Michael Stöger. Actually, he studied uh, physics, so he's a doctor in physics. Interesting enough. Then he worked. Uh, in the area of explaining physics through media, I think with ORF, with the Austrian National Television. 
And then he decided, for reasons which he probably will explain to us, to go another way. And he had interesting encounters with religious people around the world, and he will speak about this. And I think he will show us also some pictures. We we'll also have a look at the pictures which we see in the background. Thank you very much. I hope I will find the right language to address this rather respectable community here. Thank you very much for your confidence in writing me, not knowing what's going on. <laughs> for the Reverend Kofi Koda, a member of the Divine World Missionaries, a Catholic religious congregation, is from Ghana, West Africa. He came to Austria in 2001 and has been working in the pastoral ministry of immigrants and refugees. He is presently the assistant priest and pastor of the Vienna Police Detention Center for Deportation. And when these people talk to you, you realize that what is keeping them going is their faith in God or in something. And then they do. And you realize that these people, when they end up in deportation camps, they don't put them in people from Ghana or from Nigeria or from wherever, they put all of them together. And when you see how these people from different countries and continents, how they share with one another, you realize that we are and we did actually have to aim at peace. My guest was Hans Nahrada. He is the representative of the Earth Society Foundation in Austria. An interesting foundation because we are celebrating every year the beginning of spring. The beginning of spring normally is the 20th of March or the 21st sometime. But there's an exact time when spring starts. So sometimes spring starts in the morning at 6 o'clock. Sometimes it starts at noon or at midnight. So this year spring will start around 12 o'clock on the 20th. And I know we will have some kind of Ceremony, normally we have a ceremony in the UN where the peace bell is, how do you say? Run. 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 It's not really run, but it's hit. <laughs> uh, actually, a word about Earth Day. Uh, Earth Day is the result of a man's quest to find an expression for what connects us between religions. That man, uh, his name is John McConnell, and he said, the moment that nature sets for us, where the, shine, where the sun shines equally on north and south, where, the, where it is equal and there, there is an equinox, uh, is a very symbolic moment for all cultures. We have heard of the four people, uh, we have heard of the four directions that, uh, that uh, the Native American people know in the East, is always the symbol of beginning, Easter. Yeah? So this is this is the moment when everything is anew, and uh, the originator found out that in 20 different cultures uh, in Iraq, it has similar meaning that we start with a new year at this point, Norus. So we are just thinking of universalizing that and have a common celebration where we truly not dominated by one particular culture or one particular set of, of, of values. So this is uh, this is perfect. Anyway, we are looking no. forward to this presentation about religions in China. Um, if you have to deal with uh, China or Chinese topics, it's always good to keep in mind China, Chinese history. And um, for example, uh, you see the slide. Uh, since the founding of the PRC, the situation in China has changed dramatically. Communism is a whole revolution, uh, but the devastating destruction of temples, of monasteries, of shrines.
systemic religious operating house prayer book of Assange, since his best device. And now I will tell you something especially about the um, Islamic religious operating house prayer and about the meeting. So we are speaking today about this interreligious dialogue and peace. Surely in Islam, the peace is also very important. And as in other religions, peace is a basic concept in Islamic thought. And the Arabic word Islam has the same root as the word Islam. And the name of this uh, word is peace. So also the greeting in Arabic, Assalamu Alaikum, has the literal meaning of peace be upon you. So, I'm very happy that uh, he will speak about universality uh, in Sufism or Sufis universality, I don't know. Okay, so the floor is yours. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, the loved ones of God, as the founder of the Sufi order, I belong to all of you. Uh, I first encourage you to move around a bit, maybe stretch yourself a little bit and take a few deep breaths. Because sitting around a conference room like this and just feeling your, your mind can be very tiring. And the topic we are touching upon right now is something for the whole of the human being, not just for the left hemisphere of the brain. <laughs> so, what I would uh, like to share with you is uh, the vision of the mystic of Pasadena Khan, who came to the West, to the West in Kenya, with the message unity of religious ideals, but we encourage to already in a long-standing tradition of uh, a mystical school that did not really look at the outward creed of a person, but at the inward development and the consciousness that you reach by that. God can be on to you, God. So maybe this can be a good uh, close of this Conference. Thank you, all the speakers, for the first session and now. And uh, of course, we will continue our efforts. And we hope that next year there will be an even much bigger conference, with even maybe bigger and more qualified organizers than us. But I think we can be proud that we made the start. And this is our achievement of this day and week. All of it together. Thank you very much. Thank you.